friend of mine just uh, sent me a message saying that for the past four weeks he's been living away from his house with his whole family turns out um, they just discovered that for the past 30 years one of the pipes in the basement was leaking and of course you know my first thought was that's why this guy cannot seem to get ahead you know he's working day and night 24 7 but because of the increased you know water consumption pretty much all the money was going towards the utility bills and that started me thinking on um, the advantages of my lifestyle because this basement pipe leaking thing could never happen to me because I live in a truck and some people think that that's kind of puts you in a in the lower strata of the society but we know that technically speaking there's only three people three types of people in the world number one they live they choose to live in what they call houses number two smarter people live on boats but real daredevils with nothing to lose live in trucks and today we're talking about this and I'm gonna give you 11 reasons 11 reasons why living in a truck is beneficial and mostly we're gonna compare it with a house because I don't have that much experience with uh, houseboats except I saw them when I went on a little vacation to uh, Holland or Denmark uh, I saw these house boats, you know, right on the river downtown. They look pretty cool, but I don't know. Um, it's also you can also get a leaky, a leaky basement, right? Anyway, so here's uh, Captain Sergey. Eleven reasons why you should live in a truck. Reason number one: there's no basement, so nothing can leak. There's no water pipes, right? You cannot ruin your house, which is your truck, because of a water leak. Number two, mortgages, your mortgage payment is 100% deductible, right? Because I'm paying for the truck, but because this is my business tool, I deduct from my income my entire payment, right? Um, like I know in some parts of US you can do that but in most places in Canada um, you cannot right unless it's a business property right so so there you go and uh, number three when you live in a truck you have full mobility right so if you don't like the if you get tired of the terrain you know or the climate or your neighbor keep snoring like a hog you know or you know there's a storm coming you can just pack your stuff and move right so it's the same as living in an RV so full mobility number four very important uh, living in a truck helps control alcohol consumption and there and have been a few studies about this but it's not yet fully proven but when you drink too much it can be slightly detrimental to your health and now when you live in a house there's nothing stopping you to get drunk every night right but when you live in a truck you know you gotta control <laughs> you gotta control yourself first of all you're not supposed to have any liquor inside your commercial vehicle right uh, but secondly what happens if you find the load later in the day so basically you cannot drink if you plan to work you know which in in when you live in a house we all know these uh, drunken you know vegetable garden planters and then you know they wake up in the morning and they wonder why the row of carrots is slightly going like this so that's why so very important reason number four helps control alcohol consumption reason number five there's no need to clean the snow in winter and cut the grass right which of course is a big responsibility when you have a house right and especially if you're a trucker who also has a house then you just basically killing yourself because you can get a fine from the city from your village 
when you don't clean your sidewalks, you know, uh, in winter or if you don't cut the grass, right? And um, and then reason number six, the house, my house, makes me money, right? Uh, because I use it for business. I pull loads, I deliver loads, so it's an active active source of income which is uh, possible to do with the house but then you have to deal with you know unwanted gas noise you know tenants it's not the same uh, just using the truck as a business tool we're living in it so I think it's better number seven my house has an air horn I don't think I ever uh, saw or read about an actual house made out of plywood that has an air horn on the roof. No, it doesn't happen. So you, you want to have an air horn, you like air horns, you got to buy a truck. Reason number eight, kids wave and point at you. Now, I never saw kids wave and point at the house. You know, well, let's say when they're driving, their mom is driving them in a van to a baseball game and then they see a house and they start waving and pointing it doesn't happen it only happens when you drive a big truck with lots of air horns on the roof and minimum of two exhaust pipes preferably both of them connected to the engine which I'm sorry to say mine are not only one is connected but we're gonna blame Pekar for that number nine all you need is fuel all you need is fuel meaning that um, as long as my tanks are full and I have two gigantic tanks, each one is 150 gallons, so I can buy cheap fuel when I run into it somewhere in the US or sometimes it happens in Canada, uh, I can run the truck, right? So my battery will be full so I can charge all my little appliances. I will have AC uh, in the summer or I will have the heat in winter, my radio, right? I can hook up a satellite radio so pretty much yeah there's more than uh, fuel of course but still you don't have as many problems to take care about as when you live in a house you know like hydro and stuff like that right you maybe you you have a landline you know phone line so things are easier when you live in a truck uh, number 10 in-laws cannot move in because if you have you know a big house right and you try to show off your wealth right then sooner or later some of your relatives will stop by and uh, insist on living with you, you know or renting a piece of your property like because in the truck there's not that much space even in my uh, humongous 76 inch sleeper I think it's 76 yeah you know I still only have two bunks right and I'm, I'm sleeping in one bunk and I'm using the second as a storage for uh, you probably wonder sometimes you see those white things on the top I'm not sure what I was thinking I bought these uh, disposable coveralls you know like for painters uh, they're, they're supposed I, I know I read about this some people were using them you know while working on loads and so I bought them and I have a whole pack I think it's like I forgot 30 or 40 or 50 of them <laughs> and I only tried once I, I put one on and it, it felt so weird and they're so thin so I never used them but you know now I have these coveralls to take care of and I'm glad that I have that second bunk you know I use for storage but nevertheless in-laws cannot move in and last but not least reason number 11 the last one for today is your favorite armchair in the house in my truck has an air suspension like try to find an armchair with air suspension in the house it's not possible because then you need a compressor you need an air tank nobody does that but I heard quite a few people say you know when they become truckers that they say that they never sat in such a comfortable chair as what truckers sit in you know you don't even have this in a passenger vehicle most of the time right like none of them have like such a soft and, and and comfortable you know suspension and there's so many controls like these seats are very expensive and then just not available to regular you know 
to one third of the people that choose to live in houses. And so those are Sergei Drachev's 11 reasons why you should live in a truck. Thanks for watching. Take care.